Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now as you all know, usually this is the part of the week where we do the championship roundup and I react to your comments from all the games that have gone on this weekend. But as I'm actually away this weekend, I've not had the chance to record the championship roundup and so we're going to have to go straight into my score predictions for the midweek fixtures that we've got coming up. Do leave all your thoughts from the weekend's action in the comments down below though. For full context, I am happy to record these predictions before those games have happened. But we couldn't afford to miss any predictions with a giant packed schedule coming up in midweek. So without any further ado, let's jump in. Starts now at Ashton Gate for Bristol City up against Plymouth. I think this game has the potential to be quite an entertaining one. Don't think there'll be all too much in it. Obviously, these three game weeks are a chance for some clubs to start to build a little bit of momentum when you go from Saturday midweek straight into another Saturday. Uh, what the championship is sort of built on, especially coming off the back of an international break. From a Plymouth perspective, they do have a fairly tricky fixture list coming up. Um, after this game at Ashton Gate, they've got games to come against Norwich Hull and Millwall as their next three so a point or three on the board would be welcomed here and to be honest I wouldn't be surprised if this one was to end level I think both sides carry a threat going forward both teams can definitely break on you but I don't think there'll be all too much in it over the full 90 minutes score prediction there gonna go for a 1-1 draw at Ashton Gate next then to Cardiff up against Coventry I think this one should be a decent game by all accounts looks as if Coventry will be taking a decent away following to Cardiff for this one on Tuesday night as well obviously Coventry's away form from last season generally put them in good stead for a top six finish and that's what Mark Robbins will be targeting long term um, again for this season Cardiff definitely have a few players who can hurt Coventry though I think that good both sides have been fairly decent operators off the ball and so this game could well be one on the transition a team winning the ball high up the pitch and then turning the ball over score prediction here I think I'm slightly edging towards a Coventry away win just think that maybe in the final third they end up with a bit more in this game score prediction I think both teams could score I'm going to go 2-1 Coventry after that to deep delve for Preston up against Birmingham this one should be a good game expecting quite a close encounter between these two sides both can set up quite rigidly defensively and neither team will want to give away much to the opposition in last year's fixtures we got I mean especially quite a cagey game at deep delve in the end Blues ended up winning that 1-0 but both sides so far this season have been averaging over two points per game I'm sure that both fan bases would be more than happy for that trend to continue between now and the end of the season but the way both sides have gone so far this season has exceeded my expectations obviously if you watched my updated prediction video uh, that we did the other week I did have each side bumped up a little bit from my original predictions I don't think we'll get all too much between the two sides in this game gut feeling right now is saying a 1-1 draw here at Deepdale next then we go to QPR up against Swansea now it's tough to make this prediction without knowing the result of the South Wales derby first up because I'm having to pre-record this video because I'm away at the weekend. With that being said, I mean, this is an interesting matchup here. A uh, little bit of a clash of styles. I do think that QPR could get a little bit of joy by going really hard at that Swansea back line. I was actually looking back on my predictions that I've made so far this season and QPR and Swansea are two of the only sides that I'm yet to back either of them for all three points this season. Um, I have backed Swansea for a fair few draws um, and the same with QPR but I'm yet to put my neck on the line and say either team will win a game this season. With that being said, the home advantage potentially playing into QPR's favour here. I'm going to go 2-1 QPR, which is me predicting my first QPR win of the season there. Southampton against Ipswich should be a good matchup. The sort of game which I wouldn't be surprised if we got a repeat of that bonkers 4-4 draw when Southampton went up against Norwich because we know Ipswich like to create a lot of chances I think this one could be quite a lot of fun between Russell Martin and Kieran McKenna the way Ipswich have been quite adaptable as well we've mentioned it a few times on the channel so far but we saw them being quite dominant and commanding at times in those games against Stoke and Cardiff but in that game earlier in the season against Sunderland I thought they were quite good at soaking up a lot of pressure then hitting them on the counter attack and going up against this Southampton team is quite a unique challenge really because of how possession orientated they are. Obviously Southampton come with an abundance of quality in the final third and will cause Ipswich some problems because we have seen a few cracks in that back line at times. But Ipswich are more than capable of going punch for punch with those sorts of sides as we saw from that Ipswich game as well. So score prediction here 
maybe Southampton take it with the home advantage, but I'm going to back it switch for a point on the road there. I'm going to go for an entertaining 2-2 draw, which would be fun. After that, to Hillsborough for Sheffield Wednesday up against Middlesbrough. Two sides who could really do with a win in this one to properly jumpstart their season and to start climbing the league table. I think from a Sheffield Wednesday point of view, uh, they're going to need to harness the power of Hillsbury, you know, they really are going to need to turn their home ground into a fortress this season if they're going to put enough points up on the board to go ahead and avoid the drop. Almost as we saw in the playoffs last season when everyone thought Wednesday were down and out after that disastrous first leg against Peterborough, somehow they turned it around with a magical night at Hillsbury. And these are the sorts of nights where Wednesday are going to need to put it on. I know that Zisco's trying to transition that side from the team they were under more to maybe a more dynamic side. We've not really seen that much evidence of that so far, but these are the sort of spirited nights where Wednesday really do need to show up against the Middlesbrough side, who obviously haven't completely found their flow under Carrick this season. Score prediction here, why not? While Middlesbrough can still be a bit flaky, let's say Wednesday pull something out of the bag under the lights of Hillsborough. 2-1 Chef Wednesday, I'm saying there. Next then to Blackburn up against Sunderland. Now this should be a good matchup. Sunderland, I'm expecting to have a little bit more of the ball in this one. They'll look to knock it around the Blackburn box, but as Blackburn have shown at times under John Dahl Thomason, they can be really good in transitions and especially you know as they do look to soak up pressure at times and hit teams sort of in a way that Preston went about playing Sunderland earlier on in the season I can see a few threats popping up from Blackburn um, in a similar sort of fashion in this one do think the first goal will be quite important in this one I think that Blackburn can be an absolute nightmare to play against when they get that first goal but if Sunderland take the lead maybe we'll get a repeat of that Southampton performance interestingly enough uh, despite the difference in the amount of goals that these two sides have scored so far this season. Blackburn have averaged a higher XG per 90 than Sunderland have so far, which shows that they are getting into those good areas right now and can cause this Sunderland side some problems. Tony Mowbray being back at Ewood Park, always a lot of fun as well. With all that being said, I think I'm slightly edging towards the away side here. Score prediction, going to go 2-1 Sunderland to sneak it. After that, we go to Huddersfield up against Stoke. Now, with the way that Stoke have gone about this season so far, I think this is quite a tough prediction to make. It very much depends on which version of Alex Neal's side shows up for this game. I think we've seen sort of both sides of that so far this season, which was probably expected with the high turnover of players. I do think that if Stoke are looking to properly kick on from their finish last season. You know, I think top half finish is sort of the bare minimum that Stoke want to strive towards this season because of that investment that's gone into that squad. These are the sort of matches where you're going up against a side who finished below you last season that you're going to need to look to sort of you know, put in a spirited performance and get all three points. With that being said, Neil Warnock's always capable of pulling something out of the bag. And despite Huddersfield being quite wasteful in front of goal at times, they are getting into decent areas in a lot of the matches they play and they will cause Stoke some problems in this game. With all that being said, I think if I go with my head on this prediction, I'm slightly favouring Stoke here. Going to go 2-1 Stoke on the road there, but... I wouldn't be surprised if Huddersfield pulled them out of the bag. Hull up against Leeds has the potential to be quite tasty. I like a lot of the creative threats that Hull have in their midfield right now that can cause this Leeds back line some problems. But on the flip side of that, at times Liam Rossini's men have been quite susceptible to conceding quite a few chances. And that's where the Leeds forward line really could come into their own. Still feel like we're yet to properly see the best of that forward line and Daniel Farker in this system. But as soon as the penny does drop for Leeds, I really think we could be in for a decent prolonged run of form where they are scoring a lot of goals on a regular basis because there's definitely the talent throughout that team looking at the spine of it where that can be the case. Hull won't take this game lightly though sure it'll be a fantastic atmosphere. Leeds will be bringing that in the away end as well and just looking at the profiles of both teams I'd like to think we'll be in for an entertaining game with quite a few goals. Score prediction here I'm going to go for an entertaining 2-2 draw between these two. Millwall against Rotherham on a Wednesday night. This is the sort of game where I do think the first goal will be quite important. I think that Rotherham have the potential to make it a really difficult evening for Millwall if they strike first. But I think it's also true if that scenario is reversed and flipped on its head. Uh, Millwall do have quite a decent track record against Rotherham. Certainly in recent history, they are unbeaten against the Millers in their last five meetings with one another. How much you guys read in? 
data, that sort of historical data, I suppose is on you though. Physically, I think this Rotherham side are more than a good enough match to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Millwall. It's just a question of whether they have enough quality to break them down on the road and still can shut them out at the back as well. Have a feeling this may be a bit of a Gary Rowett special. 1-0 Millwall, I'm saying. I'll say they'll strike early and hold out for all three points. Add that for Watford up against West Brom. I'm sure that Valerian Ishmael in the Watford dugout would like to get one over on his former employees, but how do we see this game unfolding? Watford have been really quite up and down so far, certainly from an attacking perspective, so it's tough to nail down which side will turn up for this one. I think they're slowly putting the building blocks in place where the majority of their matches so far have been fairly tight. It's just about twisting those margins ever so slightly in their favour. West Brom on the flip side have also been fairly unpredictable so far in a lot of these predictions we've been making. On the road, they tend to be a little bit more passive than they do in their home matches. That certainly was the case um, in those games against Blackburn and Leeds away from home. I just have a feeling that maybe Valerian Ishmael has something in store and he's going to get one over his former employees here. Score prediction, I just feel like it could be one of those evenings for Watford here. I'm going to go 3-1 Watford. And then finishing things off at Carrow Road for Norwich up against Leicester. A good overall game we've got here because this one will tell us quite a bit about each side another good litmus test to see where this Norwich team is at right now earlier in the season we saw them really going punch for punch with one of the parachute teams in Southampton and while I don't think this game will be quite as crazy as that one I can see both sides scoring and it being quite end-to-end -end with quite a few chances being created as Leicester have shown in a, quite a few matches so far this season they don't always have to be at their sparkling best to get a result over the line. Whereas it feels like with Norwich, they probably do need to have that sort of swagger and that forward thinking play about them. And when those standards do drop a little bit, as we saw, you know, before the international break in that game against Rotherham, suddenly they can run into a little bit of trouble. Leicester just have maybe a few more creators who can get them out of trouble like that. Norwich do have a lot of players who can cause this Leicester side some problems though. And I'm really 50-50 going either way. Don't want to sit on the fence though, because I don't feel like it'll be a draw. I feel like either side will win. Gut feeling is telling me that Leicester maybe sneak something late on there. Going to go 2-1 Leicester, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was the other way. But guys, there we have it. That will not wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to get your score predictions in the comments down below. Obviously, in usual circumstances, this would be an episode of the Championship Roundup. But as I'm away of the weekend of these games happening in midweek, I won't have had the chance to record that. So, hope you guys all understand. Do get your thoughts down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.